Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today we're at a server. That's the noise you're hearing. Um, yeah, it's the awesome IBM X3650 Model 5. No, it's the Model 4. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the one that I have that uses uh, three and a half inch hard drives because I use this server for testing hard drives. And I have a bunch here that we need testing. I have one in here that uh, I tested last time, I've, but I have forgotten to write on it uh, how it was. So I'm gonna have to start with that one. It's a um, it's a four terabyte, two and a half inch uh, Seagate Barracuda. Now, I know everybody is very happy with Seagate Barracuda. There is almost not two opinions on that. Most stable drive ever. Write in the comments that you agree. <laughs> I'm not gonna get many of those. Uh, so we're gonna test that. Then we have um, one, two, three, four. Um, that's irrelevant um, for all the hard drives that needs um, testing and these are drives that has failed uh, in other servers and I'm just gonna be investigating if they're worth playing around with they might be still good enough for me to mess around and have some fun with so I am um, I test them a little bit I am NOT using a bulletproof method at all I don't want to spend days uh, having the server on checking a drive. I want it to give me a an indication if this drive is worth my time or not. So um, yeah, it, I've done this a thousand times. So um, you have seen it before, but but I'm gonna show it a little bit again. So let's test this drive, and I'll chat along the way. First things first. It seems like my server 2022 evaluation license has run out. So uh, we need to rearm that. Um, when you, when you want to evaluate a uh, Windows Server version, you get 180 days to test it out. But you can actually do that over and over again. I think five times you can extend it. So we're going to extend it again. And you do that by tapping in this line, this thing that I've written there. Press enter on that, and it asks us that we need to reboot the system to do this. And we're gonna do that because uh, testing hard drives and having the server randomly just shutting down in the middle of it, well, it's kind of irritating. So we'll just reboot, and when it comes up again, we'll see the 180 days this is planned okay it's booted so let's log in let's see what we get down here come on 180 days go go get it okay it might take a little bit to figure out that it's it's a trial version so let's uh i'll pop the drive in and we'll see if we can test it get our disk management here let's see if we can see that it's a four terabyte drive that we are looking for uh, not that one it's not that one it is that one test 40 so clearly I have tested it before but I have forgotten what it was like so I used this little program course called HD tune i really should buy the the pro version of it but it gives me a nice little overview of if the drive is worth anything so uh, yeah i select the drive up here and we select start and it will uh, be reading and writing to the drive And already there we can see that we get a spike where it's having difficulties uh, reading data from the drive and uh, yeah so that means that the drive is not very good if it's a good drive it will go up here 
it will start very nicely up there and then it will fall a little bit towards the end over here and um, it's not supposed to do those spiky things that's uh, that's a bad thing Okay, so clearly that's a bad drive. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. So uh, good thing we ran it again. So this time I'm gonna write on it that it's bad so that I don't have to do this again and again and again. So next drive that we're gonna be testing is this one. It's a 10 terabyte uh, SAS, SAS drive. I forgot to show you the other one. That wasn't a SAS drive, that was a SATA drive. Uh, you can see that on the connections here. If there is a hole between the, the, the signal and the power, it's a SATA drive. If there is no hole between the two connections, it's a SAS drive. And um, yeah, this one comes with a, with a tray. So we are gonna release it from the tray here. I have a bunch of these trays, so if you're in need of trays, well, I for sure would like to sell some of these. Ah, yeah. So this one is out of a Hewlett Packard. They actually have the right label for the tray and everything. So this is also a Seagate drive, actually. Even though it's Schuler Packer branded up here, but it says Seagate Technologies down here. So, uh, yeah, another Seagate. And I must admit, I have um, I have replaced quite a few of these. So, yeah. So we're gonna pop that into the server. It's just sitting on the bottom here because putting in trays and taking out trays, it gets old really quickly. And now we're at it. Uh, these trays, I have a little ninja trick. If I open this up and I put the screws down here, they actually stay there. It's kind of neat. For some reason, this drive also shows up in here as uh, test 5, which clearly means that I have tested it before. So we're gonna, gonna check it out, see. But yeah, you don't have to wait. We'll, uh, I'll bring you back to see the result. Okay, here is the result. Um, it's not that dodgy. It has one of those little spikes where it doesn't read the drive as quick as it should. But the rest of it, it has that curve where it uh, drops just a little bit along the way. And it has a transfer rate of 237 and a half megabyte per second most of the time so yeah um but as it does that spike it's it's kind of dodgy so um yeah it's a good but dodgy drive so here's another drive that we're taking out of the out of the box here this one is not a seagate This one, well, it's Hewlett Packard branded, but let's see, I, believe, I think it's in Hitachi Drive, HGST, that's, uh, that's Hitachi. It's another 10 terabyte hard drive, so let's pop that in. I quite like these drives, uh, I, like the, I like the looks of them, I must admit. I have clearly not tested before, because it, uh, it shows up as unallocated so we're gonna this is the first part of my test is that um, if I can create a Windows thinky on it so first we'll online it and then we'll initialize drive and then it will um, come in and give us some options here and we can create a new partition or drive on it so we'll just go next 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 We'll call this drive test 41. I think that's about where we're at. 
and the amount of time that it takes doing this is sometimes something that I can use uh, figuring out if this is a good or a bad drive. This was this took a bit longer than I was expecting, I must admit. So now we run our test. And very often within the very start of it we can see if it's good or bad but not I've seen drives that went all the way over here that spikes down but yeah this has a very high maximum uh, transfer rate but it also already had a pretty low minimum one okay results are in and this drive looks very good um, it does what I have described it starts high and it goes a bit lower uh, it has some random reads that are kind of high um, average access time and this is pretty good and this is pretty normal and yeah um, I'm gonna say this is a good drive so here we have another Seagate drive this one has another tray um, it has the same feature that the screws stays in there when you put them in there so yeah, I'm gonna put this in This is clearly also a drive that we haven't done anything with before, so we're gonna do what we usually do. Test 42, Google Gadget, and it's formatting. And that was very quick, so that is usually better. So we're gonna run our test. get back when the results are in Ooh, this is nice another good one so same thing goes down ever so slightly over the test all of the random reads writes are in this field and nothing is up here so that's actually a bit better and it has a boost rate of 314.7 megabytes per second really good this is a good drive I think hmm I just saw something interesting with these drives. Look at this uh, thing. It's magnetic on the bottom of it. Uh, and that means that anything metal would be sucked up by this PCB and be sitting there. Yeah, that's probably not a great thing. Okay, so here's a very exciting drive um, because this is the first 18 terabyte drive that um, I'm going to be testing. So, yeah, I need to unscrew that though. Uh, it's a new drive cage. I wonder if this fits in here. It would almost go in here. It, it's not not exactly right. No. So this one is a Western Digital one. It's produced in v Vienna. So let's check that. See if it uh, if it want to play with me. Shows up here. Very nice. One line. Initialize drive. Okay. formatting everything is very quick there it's already done like that and we're gonna test that Keep, oh that's not good it already did a very bad dip but let's let it run Okay, results are in and they're not great. So all of this thing usually means that it's a bad drive. And at some point it was down to reading 1.9 megabytes per second, which is awful. 
and the random read write thingy here which we saw should all be down here is a bit up here as well so there is some some things not as it's supposed to be that's a really high maximum read speed right there uh, that's very good 280 89 and a half megabytes per second it's really good I want to run this again just for fun and giggles but yeah unfortunately this 18 terabyte drive does not look to be that great okay I ran it again same result so um, yeah it's not a good drive um, and it gets really low and uh, read write speeds sometimes it still mm, I could still use this for for a backup thing an offline backup 18 terabytes for a backup is very nice amount of data but I have something else we should try I have a um, I have a new drive also 18 terabytes and I think it's just about the same model as the other one so let's let's unwrap this it's brand new it hasn't been out of the plastic ever so that goes to plastic so here is the drive and I think we'll try and compare it to the one that we are testing or has just been testing unfortunately that's not very good this drives looks extremely similar so this one is from last year uh, 12 volt same wattage amperage uh, yeah this is of course Hewlett Packard branded so all of the label is like Hewlett Packard is but I would be surprised if there is much of a difference here see how that does I need to remember to write bad on that one but yeah let's pop this one in and here is the result of that one and it did extremely well 293 megabytes per second and it only dropped to 247.7 megabyte per second which is better than most of the other ones did like the Seagate one here that didn't do that well um, so yeah uh, bigger newer drives are quicker than older smaller drives is my experience so a quick summary this uh, two and a half inch four terabytes was bad that's not gonna be good for anything um, this one I've, I've written it as good ish uh, it wasn't perfect but it was okay it um, it can be used for something then I had the 18 terabyte drive I've written that as bad because it has really big spikes so for anything where it needs to run data it's not good but bad isn't dead uh, if the drive really doesn't work I usually do dead this wasn't dead either it was just extremely bad so I'm, I probably should write dead on this one I might change that so um, I found two drives that I'm gonna be putting in my big storage unit out there these were okay enough they can be used in a system um, I'm very sad about the 18 terabyte drive I would have loved that to work but yeah I have another one which is in the machine so I'm, I'm good I don't know what it is with me and testing hard drives but I kind of find it exciting like well, you don't know what you're gonna get it's like a little lottery do I get a good drive to play with or did I just get some good magnets which is also okay so I hope you got something interesting out of this video and if you're a big Seagate fanboy sorry <laughs> thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day Bye-bye.